What's going on YouTube? Just right here. So in today's video, I have great news for those of you waiting for the uncovered jailbreak to support the A12 devices. And of course, the A12 devices are the iPhone XS, XS Max, and the iPhone XR. Pound Own posted just a few days ago, quote, the A12 and A12X support for the uncovered jailbreak is still being worked on in the background. Please be patient. However, at this point, more progress has been done. So just a few days ago, Pound Own finally acquired an iPhone XS, which means that he's finally able to test everything for himself without relying on testers and so on. So this pretty much speeds up a lot the development. And he said, quote, got an iPhone XS and it's on iOS 12.0. So exactly the version you would want to be in order to be able to jailbreak it. Now, shortly after that, he posted, quote, just disabled auto updates on my iPhone XS on iOS 12 with Uncover. So this means that finally the exploit is working on the Uncover, you know, on the A12 devices, because he was able to disable the updates with uncover which means that he has root access to the device in order to be able to modify the ATC host file. So at this point we still need to wait, it's still in progress but the progress is being made very rapidly and of course that is actually nice. However for those of you who are using the uncovered jailbreak on any other device on iOS 12 an important update has been pushed a few days ago and you should definitely update to it if you didn't already. It's this one in here published three days ago and it says version 3.0.0 beta 43 which actually fixes the sandbox escape error on some devices and it updates the aptless cache file for the repositories. So if you didn't update already to this one in here, you should definitely do so, especially if you have the sandbox escape error on your device. The update can be done by downloading the beta 43 in here and of course you can sideload it with CDA Impactor. Now the last thing I would like to cover in this video is the TSS saver status. So as you can see, Apple has been signing and unsigning erratic the iOS 12.1.1 Beta 3. Now, most of the devices do not have that signed anymore. However, iOS 12.1.1 Beta 3 is a jailbreakable firmware, so if it's still signed for your device and you want to downgrade to it, you can still do that. As you can see, iPad 4.2 is still signing here. Then you have here the iPad 6.11, and of course you have the uh, iPad 6.3, and there is also some iPhone in here, the iPhone 7.2. These have the Beta signed for some bizarre reason. Now Apple has been shifting the signing status on and off for this devices in here for the last couple of days and I have no idea why they keep on signing and unsigning and then signing again and so on but if your device is still signed definitely save your blobs and if you need to downgrade is your last chance. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe to stay updated I'm Gio Snow and till the next time peace out.